So you've applied to study in Poland, you've gotten your admission, you've also gone through the rigorous visa processing, and finally your visa has been approved. Congratulations to you. study abroad body so if you're looking to study outside of your home country you're welcome to join this family so in today's video i'm going to be telling you the important things that you need to do once you've gotten into poland to start with i'm going to be telling you some important things that you need to do even before getting into poland the first thing you need to do after getting your study visa approved is to inform your school about your arrival inform your dormitory about your arrival for those using the university dormitory and if you're renting an apartment outside you also need to inform whoever is in charge of your accommodation so it is important to inform your school because sometimes though not in all cases sometimes before entering into poland or if you are landing in a schengen country before getting into poland they may want to contact um, your school to be sure that you are really coming into Poland as a student and not for any other means. So that is why it is important to inform your school. And also it is important to inform um, your dormitory or wherever it is that you are getting an apartment so that they will be prepared for your coming in case they need to reserve a room for you for those that are staying in university dormitory another thing you need to keep in mind um, before your arrival is that you need to arrive into poland two weeks before or even less than that so for example if you got your visa approved in the month of july and your school is resuming in the month of october you can't pack your things and arrive in august so you have to arrive like two weeks before your resumption date or or else you are going to be sent back to your home country Another thing for those that are arriving at a later date, so your school is resuming on the 1st of October but you are resuming in the month of December, please send an email to your school to send you an extension letter. So on that letter, the school already know what to do. It's just to inform whoever is in charge of checking you into the country that even though the school had resumed since 1st of October, you've started your lectures either online or you are resuming late as a result of visa delay so that's not going to create any issue for you when you get to the border control also you need to prepare for some basic questions like what is the name of your school what is the reason for your stay in poland how long are you staying in poland do you have an accommodation in poland where is your accommodation where is your school located at simple simple questions like that so you need to prepare for those questions and also have your academic documents um somewhere very close to you so you can just put that in your handbag very very close you also need to download some important applications such as boat uber because these are the major app that you are going to need um, when you first arrive in Poland before you get used to their system of transportation. You can also download fixed bus in case you don't want to make use of the train to the city that you are going to in case you are not landing at the final city where you are going to be resident at. So you can download fixed bus. Fixed bus um, move between cities in Poland. So if you are landing in Warsaw for example and your final destination is Lublin so you might make use of fixed bus to transport you from Warsaw to Lublin or you can make use of the train. Another application you need to download is Google Map. In case you don't have the app on your phone before, download Google Map because Google Map is going to help you navigate a lot of places when you get into Poland. You are not familiar with the place and sometimes where you are going is somewhere very close by. So you don't want to keep spending unnecessary money on taking boats or even taking any any means of transport at all so you might want to make use of google map first and even aside that by the time you even get used to the transport system and you are going somewhere you are going to work a lot in this country you are going to do a lot of walking and 
Google Maps is going to be your friend in navigating your way around. Another important app to download is Google Translate. Poland is not an English speaking country, so you are not used to the language yet. Polish is one tough language to learn. Even if it is a language that is easy to learn, you also you still need um, Google Translate. You need Google Translate. You might need Google Translate when you first get into Poland in case you need help in, and you need to communicate to someone but you don't know how to communicate to the person. So Google Translate is going to be your friend at that moment. Finally, you've landed at the airport. The first thing you need to do after claiming your baggage is to look for a cancel and change some money. So if you're bringing in euro or dollars, look for a cancel, change some of the money that you have with you. You don't have to change everything depending on how much you are bringing. And the money you are going to need varies um, according to your destination. For someone that their final destination is Warsaw and they are landing in Warsaw, they might not need a lot of money as compared to someone that landed in Warsaw and is going to another city. So after exchanging some money, the next thing you need to do is to look for a store. Get a SIM card, register it immediately with your international passport. So this is how the SIM pack looks like because when I got to the airport and I wanted to get a SIM card, the lady directed me to where the SIM card um, were displayed but then when I saw this 300 gigabytes, the only thing that came to my head at that moment was that it was a memory card because this is how memory cards are packed in Nigeria. SIM cards are packed in a very small um, pack. I was thinking like as it is done in Nigeria, so shall it be done to the end of the earth. That wasn't how it was. So in case you see um, pack like this when you get to the store so that you not get confused. This is the same card I use. I make use of orange, but there are other network providers also depending on what you want. In case somebody has already advised you on a particular SIM card that you need to get, please go ahead. Make sure you get the SIM card. Activate it immediately. If you need to um, get some subscription on it, you can pay them, get the subscription. But for mine, when I got my SIM card, I did not need to pay for subscription immediately. I was given a bonus of 300 gigabytes. So it was a huge bonus for me. So I didn't have to subscribe. I didn't, I didn't pay for anything. The only amount I paid was 5 zlotty. So I paid 5 zlotty to get the SIM pack. And I was given 300 gigabytes bonus. I think I just sent um, a code to a particular number and that was how I got Even before getting your SIM card, there is Wi-Fi at the airport. You can send a message to your family back at home to let them know that you arrived Poland safely. So you can send a message to your family and friends. Um, I mean, the people that are aware of your traveling, you can just send them a message so that they don't get themselves worried about your whereabouts. The next thing you want to do is to book a ride to your final destination. So if you are landing at your final destination, let's say you are landing in Warsaw and your final destination is in Warsaw. If you are landing in Poznan and your final destination is in Poznan, the next thing you need to do is to book a ride. So you can make use of Uber or Boat. So you can just check both apps, um, compare the prices and go for the one that is the best price at that moment book your ride to your final destination that is your accommodation but in case you are still moving to another city like when i arrived i got into warsaw but then i was going to another city so what i did was to book a ride to the train station so i was taking a train and not flix bus so if that is your own case also take um go to your app uber or boat book a ride to the train station book a ride to the train station so when you get to the train station buy your ticket and also make sure you check the schedule if you are taking the train if you are taking flix bus or whatever means of transport you are taking to your city please check the schedule because you need to put into consideration the time is going to take you to move your bags you are just coming in from your country and you are going to have a lot of bags to carry so you want to put all those things into consideration so you can book your ticket maybe for a ride that is in the next one hour or in the next two hours if you're taking a train in case you don't know which of the stands to go to to wait for your train please ask questions please ask questions 
that is why you have to download google translate in case you cannot find someone that speaks english or understands english make use of google translate to communicate with them smile ask questions they are willing and they are going to help you trust me they will help you uh, you can show them your whoever you are communicating with at that moment you can show the person your um, train ticket the person might have a better idea on which of the stands to go to so that you don't miss your train. Another tip I'm going to give you is that after getting your ticket, please take a picture of the ticket on your phone just in case, in case, in case. Don't be careless with your ticket, but in case you miss your ticket, um, all these officers will come by later on the train to check that you have purchased a ticket. So you need to show them your ticket but let's just assume that you've already misplaced your ticket or you can't find it on time you can just bring out your phone and show them taking your train you've gotten to your final destination as usual take a boat ride to your final destination that is your accommodation so this is a side tip if your university is providing you an accommodation, I will advise you to um, stay in your university accommodation, even if it's just for the first month you are arriving in Poland or even for the first semester. Now you've gotten to your um, accommodation, inform your family, inform your friends that finally you've gotten into your accommodation. So after settling down, the next thing you want to do is to book a Pesel appointment. So when you register for Pesel, you are going to get a number. So you call it Pesel number. So this Pesel number is just like the their national identity number in Poland. So it is important to get a Pesel number because without Pesel number, you can't open a bank account. Your school, I don't think your school will be able to issue you a student ID without a Pesel number and also for jobs so that when you start applying to job you are going to need your Pesel number also so it is very important to register for Pesel so once you are set to down go to um, the website of the city that you are located in you can ask those that have done it or send an email to your school to send you the link to register for um to book an appointment for Pesel so you are going to make use of your Polish number to book an appointment for your Pesel so it is important to have a polish number before this time so book an appointment for per sale go there on time don't miss your appointment and i think um for the application form i got mine from the school i think i got mine from the school but just ask those that are in the dormitory that have already done their per sale or people that are in your department just puts you through it's a very straightforward um application it's not something that is stressful at all after getting your personal number you can then proceed to open a bank account so you can proceed to open a polish bank account but even before opening a bank account you can download the revolut app a lot of people make use of revolut app even though they have another account that has a physical branch in poland i also make use of revolut and i have my bank account also so for Revolut, you can easily transfer money between countries like UK, US, Canada, Australia, I mean a lot of countries and you can also receive money. So someone from the USA can transfer US dollar to you, you can get Australian dollar. So it works like a normal bank transaction. So it is very easy to make use of the app and the app has a lot of features also on it. So you can download the Revolut app even before um opening your bank account because i know for nigerians opening a bank account here is not straightforward you are going to be asked to submit this document this document submit all your school documents they will ask you some questions before they can open a bank account for you and satanda is the best bank to open at this moment especially for nigerians for other countries you might explore other bank but for nigerians just go to satanda don't stress yourself go to satanda to open an account with them in order to navigate the transport system here in poland you need to download the yakdo yakde app in order to check for the bus schedule and to also purchase tickets so i'm going to explain this part um so for the yakdo yakde app before getting your student id card you can register on this app to check for bus schedule and to also buy tickets 
but in order to be able to buy tickets with your yagdre yagdre app you need to have some money in your wallet so how can you fund your wallet if you have money in your revolut app if you're if you're still waiting for your bank app to be opened you can pay with your revolut app so you can link your um, revolut card they have a virtual card they also have a physical card but in case you don't want the physical card you can link the virtual card to your apple wallet or your google wallet so your mobile phone will act as um your atm card at that moment the only difference is that you cannot use your phone to withdraw from an atm but you can use your mobile phone to um pay at any store because in Poland, yeah, they make use of contactless payment, so you don't need to insert your ATM card into their POS before you pay for anything. If you need to refill your ticket on Yagdo Yagde app, you can make use of your Revolut for now. In case you don't have a bank app yet, make use of your Revolut. You can pay via Apple Wallet or Google Wallet. In case you don't have any money in your revolute because you are just coming into Poland and you're likely to have just cash. If you have a roommate, a classmate or a friend that is willing to transfer some money into your revolute account and collect cash, you can also make use of that. But in case none of this option is available, you can ask someone to put you through on how to buy um, the paper ticket from the machine. So at not at every stop now but there are some specific stop tram stop that you can see all these machines and then you can buy the paper ticket in in case you take the tram or in case you need to take the bus after getting your school id card you need to take that id card to the transport um office that they have here to the transport office that they have in poland depending on your city ask around get the location go to their office and tell them that you want to activate your student's id card as your boss card also so you can load money on your student's id card to pay for your transport at every point in time that you go so with your student's id card the only thing you need to do if you are making use of their public transport is to tap in and tap out so when you enter into a bus or a tram you tap in there are machines around just tap in like i said Poland, yeah, it is contactless payment. So you tap in the system already registers um, where you are starting your journey from. And then when you get to your destination, you tap out. So you are paying even lesser than what you are going to pay on the Yagdo Yagde app, even as a student. So if you are paying to Zuwati as a student on Yagdo Yagde app, you can eventually pay 0. Point something Zuwati by making use of your student's ID card as your boss card. And I think one thing I left out is that before you can go for your personal appointment, you need to get some documents from your school that you are a student. So I don't know the office that provides these documents depending on your school. For my school, it was the dean's office, my dean, the dean of my faculty and the international office. That was where I got two different documents for that I make use of um, when I was applying for my personal because you need to submit these documents to them and anywhere you are going in case you have an appointment here you want to go for an appointment there please always go with your international passport always go with your international passport because most times they will need to make a photocopy of your um, passport biodata page and also your visa so just go with your international passport for your student ID card as your boss card you can load as low as 10 zwoti in case you don't have um, places that you are going to for now you can load as low as 10 zwoti or check the different packages they have and pick the one that you know suits you best at that moment so after doing all of those things you've registered for Percel, you've opened a bank account you've um, gotten your student's id card another thing you need to do is to register for health insurance and as a student i will advise that you register for the nfz health insurance but when you first get into poland it is not something that um is like compulsory that you must do immediately but the thing is that you need this nfz insurance when you are applying for your trc so trc is called the temporary residence card so um your visa is going to be issued for a period of six months or one year I don't know what was going on in Nigeria. 
a lot of us were given six months visa instead of the regular one year visa so whatever your case is by the time you are applying for your TRS, you are going to need to submit or prove of health insurance and you want to make sure that you do this for the month you want to submit your application for your temporary residence card so i will advise that you go for the nfz health insurance it is 55.8 zwarty every month but you can pay um six months you can pay one year at the go so i've come to the end of this video but i'm going to give you some bonus tips here are some shopping apps that you can download on your phone when you get into poland download timu app you can download allegro you can download aliexpress you can download um, Amazon, you can download IKEA. IKEA has a physical store here in Poland. So when you get into Poland and you want to go for grocery shopping, these are the popular grocery stores in Poland. Biedronka, Lidl, Kaufland, um, Carrefour, Macro. So you can get a lot of things from all these grocery shops. If you need to change your money, cancel as usual. There's cancel at the airport and you're also going to see cancel around you. Just check your Google map for the nearest cancel. If you need an app that you can make use of to transfer money to your people back at home, you can download the Transfer Go app. So all of these apps that I've mentioned in this video, none of them paid me to make this video. But I'm only putting out this information there to help someone that is just coming into Poland. I hope this video helps you. If this video helps you and you want to see more of this, kindly subscribe and thank you for joining me today. Have a safe trip into the Republic of Poland. Bye!